Today we're gonna to be talking about my Ecotec XR15 LED light setting. Hey guys, Devin with Reef Dudes, and today we're gonna to be talking about my Ecotec light settings. I've had a few people write in now and ask me, what are my settings, what do I have it on my tank? So I'm finally making a video to give you guys that answer. But first I wanna give a quick shout out to Hodad57. Thank you for the kind comments, hitting that subscribe button and that bell and join the notification squad. Now, if you guys want your own shout out, let me know in the comments below. Now, as for my XR15s, they are seven and a half inches off the water. Um, I also, these are the Gen 3s and I have the narrow TAR lens on them. The reason I have them at this height and with the narrow lens is partially so the cone of light has, hits the glass less, which means there's less algae and less requirements to clean the glass. So that was kind of part of my planning. Uh, the narrow lens, I believe, had a spread of about 18 inches and my tank's 20 wide, so I kind of planned that out just perfectly, so it would be less maintenance for me on the glass, which makes me happy. Now, for as my actual light setting, so I went with a modification of the Coral Lab AB Plus schedule. The Coral Lab schedule is uh, proven to have great results. Now, they mimic some very popular lighting, and it's been a great job in their studies, and obviously doing a great job in my tank. So let's jump over to EcoSmart Live, and I'll show you guys my settings. So now we're over at EcoSmart Live. If you take a look at the default kind of schedule from EcoSmart Live, it runs your ultraviolets, your royal blues, and your blues at 100%. Your whites, greens, and reds are all running at 24%. And this is kind of the default intensities from the Core Lab. So I took this and I also added a ramp up and a ramp down because the original schedule is kind of on and off, kind of like a T5 would be. Where with this one, I have a two hour ramp up. So at 10%, at 10 a.m., my lights are at 0%. By noon, they're at their max intensity. Now you'll see 29% intensity hovering by my mouse. Now that's 25% of the overall light output. Um, if you look on the left here, I have 45% brightness. So I'm running them at 45% overall for the schedule for that 29% is of the light's physical possible output. So I'm actually writing them at a very low percentage considering. So now I run that from 12 to 6.30 p.m. So you got six and a half hours at full intensity. And now there's another three and a half hour ramp down. So that goes from 6.30 and then just shy at 10 p.m. at night, it's back to zero. So overall, it's a 12 hour schedule. It's a bit of a shorter, but more intense period. And then there's a very slow ramp up and ramp down. So I found that to be really well in my tank. Uh, and just looking at the PAR numbers, so I actually have, okay, so the PAR is up. So looking at my tank, we got our seven and a half inches from the water line to the XR15s, and then we have about 18 inches down to the sand bed from the water. Now, if you look at it, my hottest spot in my tank is for the bubble tip anemone at 500 PAR. So I'm getting 500 PAR, and I'm only, that's directly under the light, and I'm only running them at 45%. So unless you have a giant tank, you have your lights really higher, try to get a lot of spread, you don't really need to have your lights all that hot. So 45% is still giving me a ton of power. So if you are gonna do higher powered lights like the Ecotec Radions, make sure you don't run them too high. Now looking at kind of my power readings, I know for Acropora, the 250 to 350 is kind of the ideal range. And I'm for the most part, I'm a little high on certain spots, but Overall, I'm getting that kind of perfect ideal range throughout the tank. You know, so I've got the millis are getting around 240, 270, with that blue millie 390. You know, that purple acropora is getting 390. So overall, it's getting a very good spread. So I just want to stress this, that if you guys are running these high powered lights, unless you have a giant tank or they're really high off the water line, run them at you know a reasonable amount. You can do a lot more damage to corals running your lights too hot than you can running them too low. So just something to keep in mind. Now, if you guys do want to check out the Radions, I will drop some links below for you guys to check out some more information on them. Otherwise, these have been doing a killer job in my tank. Everything is happy, it's growing and crusting. Uh, in my last video, I think I showed a clip of the Blue Millie, and I've had this guy for three or four weeks now, and it's already encrusting, growing over the epoxy. So it's, it's happy and things are thriving. So hopefully that gave you guys a pretty good idea of my light settings. If there's anything I missed or you have any other questions, let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, I'm going to post the lighting schedule on reefdudes.com. I'll do a post about it and I'll put a link to the schedule. So if you guys have an EcoSmart Live account and a reef link, you can download and upload my schedule and run the exact same things I'm running on my tank. 
The only thing you might want to consider is just the depth of your tank. You may have to adjust the overall intensity. Otherwise, guys, as always, if you like this, hit that like button and make sure you guys are subscribed to keep up to date for more videos. All right, guys, catch you on the next video.